I love the fights when the guys want to come in, they want to kill me. The lights are on, the cage door locks, referee says go, that switch flips. Oh, that's the right hand from Shane Burgos. Shane Burgos! Fighting for my family, yeah, but fighting for me too. I've given my all to the sport, everything. My blood, sweat, my tears. All gas, no brakes. I need to make it worth it. Fighting is the, the oldest known sport to man. It's been around since the dawn of man. It's very primal, and I think everyone, no matter what culture or what language, everyone can relate to it. Double one, two. One, two, slip. Step back. Hard that. He got it going. I was a fan of the sport. I would hear the fighters on TV that I was looking up to say, oh, this sport is so mental, this sport is so mental. Back then, when I was 15, 16 years old, I was like, mental? How is it mental? You guys are getting in a cage and fighting. It's the coolest thing ever, but it's 100% physical. Two years later, I have my first fight, and I'm like, that's what they mean. Okay, I completely understand it now. This sport is so mental. Training day. Three weeks out, it's gonna be a car crash. As soon as the referee says go, we're gonna meet in the middle. And I plan on taking him out for that final bell. There's something in a fighter's brain that I can't really tell you exactly what it is. When the lights are on, the cage door locks, the referee says go, that switch flips. And that's what separates the real fighters from the wannabe fighters. I love that first sight moment I had after seeing my first fight in an instant addiction and I still eat, sleep, and breathe that to this day. I've been fighting for 14 years, I've been training for 16 years. I can't see myself ever stepping away from this sport completely. Now, fighting is everything to me. It's given me a purpose in life. It's given me a passion in life. It's given me everything I have in life. I got so much from this one sport, which is wild to think about. Like, I've given my all to this sport, everything. My blood, sweat, my tears, uh, dedication, sacrifice. Fighting means the absolute world to me. Three weeks out, baby. I met my wife through training. I have three daughters with her. We had our third daughter right after my last fight, got home, and then a week later we had her. It's been a little bit stressful having a newborn in camp, but my wife is a rock star. It's brutal for me, but it's nothing for me compared to what it is for her. So she gets all the credit in the world. As hard as this job is for me, I know it's 10 times harder doing the job that she does. You get home from training and sometimes low on calories towards the end of the camp, uh, low on carbs so when you're getting even closer. It's so tiring, the training, but when you come home, your kids don't understand. My wife understands, which, which makes it a lot easier, but it, it's, it's so hard to come back home and take off the fighter hat, put on the dad hat, and uh, be 100% for them, and, and I'm not perfect. And there's some days where I'm like, babe, I need, to, I need a break. I'm hurting right now, I'm tired. And then she takes on the load again, so I need to make this worth it for her, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know how he does it. He gives everything in the ring and then he comes home and he gives everything at home. So it's rare, we, get a, we got a good one. So my girls are lucky, I'm lucky. I got the tattoo across my chest that's to quit does not exist. There's a lot of hiccups and peaks and valleys in this sport and I want them to know like no matter what, dad never quit. I wanna be that example and even when the going gets rough, I'm not going anywhere, I'm gonna be there the whole time. This is 
a hard sport. The highest highs and the lowest lows. And the highest high is the greatest feeling ever, and then it's the complete opposite when it's on the low. So I want my kids to see that I picked myself up, I dusted myself off, and I kept going. Coming in, I had my goals to win every single fight. After I had my first daughter at 25 years old, and now I'm like, oh man, it's just completely different. The goal is just still the same, but it's amplified. Um, I want to win not just for me, because I love winning, but I want to win for my wife, I want to win for my daughter. The sacrifice that I'm taking time away from them, I want them to see that, that, that it's going to be worth it, and I need to make it worth it for them in the end. I'm addicted to winning. I want to win everything. I'm a competitor through and through. Like if we're playing a game of tic-tac-toe, I, I want to win. I'm one win away from a million dollars, so I'm looking at this one, like burn all the boats. This is the one. This is the one that gets me to that million dollars. That million dollars is life-changing money. All gas, no brakes. Since signing with the PFL, Everyone was saying Shane Burgos versus Clay Collar, that would be a firefight. Front elbow to hip, and I'm pushing into the shoulder and it's there. Who can disagree with that? It's one of those fights that you know exactly what you're gonna get when, when Shane Burgos and Clay are fighting. The referee's gonna say go, and we're both gonna meet in the middle until one man goes down, and I don't plan on stopping. Everyone knows why it's why it's the main event. You know, people have been calling for this fight since day one. They're, they're, they're just going to clash in the middle, and, and it's going to be great. It's going to be fireworks 10 times out of 10, like everyone expects, honestly. You see you're going to win? You see you're going to win? Yeah. You going to win? I love the fights when the guys want to come in. They want to kill me. They want to take me out. That's my favorite style of fight to fight against. Stylistically, I like those fights. Those fights get me nervous. The, the fights that uh, are, are dangerous, those are the ones that, that excite me. Those are the ones that get me out of bed in the morning. This guy's a legit boxer. He's got legit wins on his record. It's not gonna be an easy fight, but I'm excited for that. I, I, I love that. I thrive in these positions. You can write this fight 100 times, and 100 times this fight is gonna live up to the hype. A win on this one, in my mind, I'm, I'm a millionaire. There's no more motivation needed.